working for a great cause. Cat, yeah, that's so we'll tomorrow. See you at Yorkdale tomorrow. Now, then next week, it's our Christmas party at uh, the Sheridan Center. Yeah, next Friday. You can still uh, take advantage of the discount room offer yeah. as well. And donate to the Daily Bread at the same time yeah. with your room. Um, I got a letter. Don't you love an old fashioned letter? I love an old fashioned letter. September 4th, I got this letter and I held on to it until oh. now. Oh my God. It's from a woman who's out in Burlington and she just wanted to know if she could come to the Christmas party. Like, that's it. I love it. And, and her, name, uh, her name is uh, Connie Cooper. And she's on the phone with us right now out in Burlington. We just called her. We didn't warn her or anything, and I didn't tell her I got the letter or not. Hi, Connie. Good morning, Connie. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. This is not a joke. No, this is oh not a joke. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did you think somebody was pulling a prank? Yes, I did, because they know I watch this show every morning. Oh, oh my wonderful. Gosh. You are so sweet-sounding. Um, uh, uh, BT, I, I, I'm... Uh, much joy and gratefulness for having City TV, especially BT, in my life. Every morning I sit here uh, uh, having my breakfast and watching the game. That's so cool. That is so How cool. early do you get up in the morning? Six. Six every <laughs> single day. So what is your breakfast? I'm being nosy now, Connie. Are you what an oatmeal kind of girl? I'm an oatmeal kind of girl with brown sugar and cream. I'm coming over, okay. Connie. <laughs> Trying She's, to stop me. I was born in Sudbury, July 27th, 1939. I was? You know, that, that, where, when hey. did you move to Burlington? What did you, what brought you to Burlington? Yeah. Well, I live in a, a especially geared to disability apartment. Okay. And I have a little bit of help, but I do uh, still all my own cooking. All right. And it was uh, due to an accident. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you were writing just to see if you can come to the party. The Christmas party, yes, because I find it so hard to get there because of my legs, and I've never driven a car in my life. Oh, so you would need a ride. How do you, yes. you, you get, how do you get around then? Well, I have a handy van, but unfortunately they don't go into Toronto. Okay, you know what? I know okay. people, I know my good buddy Kevin Collins uh, at Friends of We Care. Yes. Uh, you know what? I, I can call on him. We are going to get you here. We are going to put you up at the Sheraton, our treat. Are you okay to stay at the Sheraton Hotel the Thursday night before, Connie? Yes, I am. And we are going to make sure, I'm going to talk to Cynthia over the Sheraton. You won't even have to worry about coming downstairs for meals. We are going to have room service up to your room, our treat. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe this. Is there somebody you'd like to take with you, Connie? Um, well, I would I'd like to take my friend from... Um Milton uh, from uh, Mississauga, but she has a cousin here from BC. So Why I'm can't hoping... they both come? Yeah, we'll get oh, you a room you... with two double beds. You're kidding me. Yeah, True okay. story. <laughs> okay, then I will, I will. I have to call her after. She'll think I'm pulling her leg too. Call her, call her, or, <laughs> okay. or show her this video. <laughs> now, do you do you have some Christmas shopping you need to get done? Uh, I have. I just buy my my grandchildren's scratch tickets now because they're all older. How many grandchildren do you have, Connie? I have. My daughter has four, uh, six, seven. I have nine. Oh my wow. gosh! Okay. That's a big. And you say you cook. You're, are you the one cooking a feast for this big family? No, my daughter. It's all up to my daughter now. She lives in Elmira. Yeah. And that's up to her. Okay, well... My days are done of cooking. Yeah, good for you. Well, I was just wondering if you wanted to go out afterwards, I'm sure we could arrange to get someone to bring you around and do a little shopping as well. Oh, my God. All right, so we'll take care of you. Oh, thank you so much. Right, we have one more catch, Connie. You have to be willing to have us put you on air, even for a teeny-weeny second to say Merry Christmas during That's our show fine. on Friday. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's a deal. It's right. a deal. Yay! Okay. Looking for it. Merci beaucoup. Ah, oh, derrière, uh, derrière. Merci à vous. Merci. <laughs> Au revoir. Au tu es très belle et jolie. Have, have a great day. You too, Connie. You've and we're going to have a better day. For sure. You've made mine for sure. Oh, oh you're well, a sweetheart, Connie. We're going to have a better day for having met her. This is going to be wonderful. I can't wait to meet you, Connie. Thank you so much, okay. Kevin and Dina. You're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. All we right. will Thank see you. you soon. All right. got to get calling those people, don't I? I made some promises. We've got to wear something nice. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. You know what, um, Derek? Can you uh, make all that the phone, phone <laughs> calls? The, I made the all these promises. Happen. Derek, can you, do, can you handle that, please? Yeah, okay, he's on it, he says. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, we'll make sure we'll make sure she has all the right service. We'll be back with more Breakfast Television. Hope to see you at the Christmas party next week as well.